Hello friends, welcome to our video tutorial. Today we will discuss about structure of atom which is part of IAS syllabus. This topic is very easy to understand by science background students but I will try to make this topic simpler for non-science background students. So let's begin the topic and understand about structure of atom. First a little bit of introduction. All substances are made up of small particles which are known as molecules. A molecule can be subdivided into atoms. An atom is the smallest particle of a substance which can take part in a chemical reaction. While molecules can exist independently, atoms cannot exist in free state. Democritus first time proposed the idea of atoms around 2000 years back. He considered any substance to be made up of indivisible and indestructible particles called as atoms. Dalton proposed his atomic theory in early part of 19th century. He said that fixed combining weights of elements can be explained in a simple way and by presuming that atoms of any element can be combined in simple numerical ratios. Following are the main points of Dalton atomic theory. 1. All substances are made up of extremely small particles known as atoms. 2. Atoms cannot be subdivided, created, or destroyed. 3. Atoms of a given element are identical in size, mass, and other properties. 4. Atoms can take part in chemical reactions. 5. Atoms of different elements combine in simple whole number ratios to form chemical compounds. However according to modern atomic theory, atoms are made up of still smaller fundamental particles, known as elementary particles. Let's now discuss about the electrons. Matter is usually uncharged in normal state. However electric charges and currents can be produced by rubbing and using magnets. Michael Faraday first time explained some relationship between matter and electricity. The electron was discovered by J.J. Thomson in 1897 who conducted the fundamental experiments in the field of atoms. If high voltage is applied to two metal electrodes kept in glass vessel and pressure in the glass tube is reduced to one millimeter of mercury, a radiation is emitted by negative electrode and these rays move towards positive electrode, and thus rays are in one as cathode rays. Let's now discuss about nucleus, electrons, and protons. The relationship between positively charged nucleus and negatively charged electrons moving around it was explained by Rutherford and Bohr and hence it is known as, Rutherford-Bohr model. The central part of atom is positively charged and is made up of protons and neutrons, while electrons which move around this positively charged nucleus are negatively charged. The positive charge of protons in the nucleus tend to attract the electrons, moving around them while electrons tend to move outwards due to centrifugal or outward force. The number of protons and electrons in an atom make one element different from another. For example, carbon has six protons and six electrons. Nitrogen has seven protons and seven electrons. The nucleus is the central positively charged part of the atom. The nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. These neutrons and protons are held together by a binding force. First of all, few points about protons. A proton is a nuclear particle having a positive charge equal to that of electron. The mass of proton is about 1836 times that of electron. Now we move on to neutrons. The neutrons carry no electric charge and hence are electrically neutral. Its mass is slightly more than that of a proton. Neutrons are found in nuclei of all atoms except hydrogen. Now let's discuss about smallest fundamental particles known as electrons. Electrons are negatively charged particles and they move around the positively charged nucleus in circular or elliptical path. Electrons cannot be subdivided further. They have a charge equal to that of proton but it's a negative charge. Electrons are used in research for studying the fundamental characteristics of matter and substance. Now we will discuss about the concept of atomic number and atomic mass. 
The atomic number of a chemical element, also known as its proton number, is the number of protons found in the nucleus of an atom of that element, and therefore identical to the charge number of the nucleus. It is conventionally represented by the symbol Z. The atomic number uniquely identifies a chemical element. In an uncharged atom, the atomic number is also equal to the number of electrons. The atomic number, Z, should not be confused with the mass number, A, which is the number of nucleons, the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. Let's discuss about few more important points. Isotopes are variants of a particular chemical element which differ in neutron number, although all isotopes of a given element have the same number of protons in each atom. For example, carbon-12, carbon-13 and carbon-14 are three isotopes of the element carbon with mass numbers 12, 13, and 14 respectively. The atomic number of carbon is 6, which means that every carbon atom has 6 protons, so that the neutron numbers of these isotopes are 6, 7, and 8 respectively. Isobars are atoms, nuclides, of different chemical elements that have the same number of nucleons. Correspondingly, isobars differ in atomic number, or number of protons, but have the same mass number. Let's see an example of a series of isobars would be 40s, 40Cl, 40Ar. The nuclei of these nuclides all contain 40 nucleons, however, they contain varying numbers of protons and neutrons. Two nuclides are isotones if they have the very same neutron number in, but different proton number Z. For example, boron-12 and carbon-13 nuclei both contain seven neutrons, and so are isotones. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. Do remember these points and best of luck. Thanks once again. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe our channel.